What's up internet, Joshua Noel from Sunduck Film, and we are at the second part of our two part tutorial series on how to do the splatter or dispersion effect inside of Photoshop and then animating it inside of After Effects. And we are now at the After Effects portion. If you didn't watch the first video in the series, uh, you can click on the screen now and there's a link there that will take you to the first video. Um, but if you watched it, let's go ahead and let's dive into After Effects. All right, here we are in After Effects. Um, go ahead and create a new composition. Let's drag my clip down, it's about 10 seconds. Okay, so you might want to add a black and white filter, but I want to go ahead and make him red, so I'm going to add curves. I'm going to go to the red channel, boost that up a bit, go to the green channel, boost that down a bit, go to the blue channel, and let's go back to the red channel. And let's got to play with it. I'm going to also add a color correction tint. Let's go ahead and make that red. Let's put down to like maybe 30%. Let's go ahead and maybe make it a little bit less. Okay. There we go. That's cool. Okay, so now let's go ahead and let's add the three splatters. And I just want to go ahead and just position them where you want them to appear. That's cool, so let's begin animating. Um, so I'm going to hit scale on these three. I'm going to go ahead and move the keyframes. Go ahead and move the keyframes to be about right here. And then I'm going to click zero on all of them. So I'm going to highlight, click zero. And therefore, we now we got a little animation going. Isn't great, but we'll work on it. So I also want to go ahead and make these animate a little bit longer. So I'm going to go to probably about six seconds. And we'll go ahead and drag the scale out to be a little bit longer. So it can continue to animate. And then I want to go ahead and make this an easy as. So I'm going to go ahead and right click, keyframe assistant, easy as. So it'll go ahead and slow down to come out, kind of like pop at us. Um, and then I'll continue to roll. I'll go ahead and make these easy as as well by hitting F9. Um, so that looks great. I'm going to go ahead and color colorize these by going to uh, generate fill. And that's already red, but that's not the red that I want. I want to go ahead and make that a little bit less intense. That's okay for now. I'm going to copy this, paste, and paste. Okay, so that's cool. We got these spiders animating slowly. Let's go ahead and add a little bit of animation to our uh, talent layer. Um, I'm going to go ahead and click scale on it, keyframe. And since these are actually, since the spiders are coming at us, I would actually rather have our talent layer um, go away from us. So I'm going to scale this up just a touch. Maybe like 105, and then go to the last keyframe here, and then maybe click, you know, 100. So we have a little animation there. So we kind of got like this little parallax effect going here. Let's go ahead and add the actual credit now. Let's go ahead and click here. We'll type in the name of the actor. His name is Jarrett Shepard. And I also want to go ahead and make that text the color. Go ahead and position that over here. I want to add a little bit of design to the title, so I'm going to go up to Layer, New, Solid. Make sure it's white, click OK. Then I'm going to go ahead and click the rectangle mask here. Kind of draw out a line here. Make it thin. That was great. Turn off that mask there so we can see where it's going. All right, I'm going to position this to be where I want it to go. Position it up. Maybe I'll go ahead and make that a little bit smaller. Great. Okay, so now let's go ahead and add an overall animation to everything. I'm going to go ahead and create a new null layer. So go up to layer, new, null object. Then I want to go ahead and parent everything to this null object. So I'm going to select all the layers and then um, drag the pick whip, click the null. So I'm going to go ahead and animate this null to kind of swipe in on us. So I'm going to hit position, hit P for position, add a keyframe about at seven frames. And then 
go ahead and drag this off screen, position X off screen. Okay, that looks great. So it'll kind of slide in here. And then I'm going to add a little bit of camera movement to this. So I'm going to kind of just have it slide by us. All right, then I'm going to go ahead and jump a little bit ahead, maybe to four seconds. Just add a little bit of animation to it. I'm going to make everything a 3D layer. Forgot to do that. You want to make all your layers 3D. So maybe go over to a little bit past four seconds, maybe to and say four four seconds and 17 frames, and then have it kind of animate past us using the uh, Z position, and let's let it go all the way to it's completely gone. Let's go ahead and refine those um, splatter animations. I'm going to select the three splatters and hit scale, and I want these to be kind of random. See, they're already animating before they're even coming on, so I want, I want to click these two keyframes and drag them over. You know, click these two keyframes, drag them a little bit past. And there you have it. Okay, now that you those are offset, um, let's go ahead and turn on motion blur, select all your layers, and click motion blur. Make sure you toggle motion blur on. So we just have one last thing to do, and that's to add a flicker to the overall animation. So I'm going to go up to layer, new, adjustment layer, then click effect color correction, brightness, and contrast. Then I'm going to alt-click brightness on the stopwatch, then type in wiggle, open parenthesis, 530, close parenthesis. So 5, 30, close parenthesis. So that's basically how you do this effect. It's fairly simple. Um, and if you want to do more titles, basically just do the same exact process and make sure that you offset your your new layer off in time. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, there will be more tutorials coming in the future on filmmaking, on how to use sort of cool titles, motion graphics. I have DaVinci Resolve tutorials on how to color correct. If you have any questions on this tutorial, um, I'll get back with you. Just leave a comment below. And guys, please subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.